Howdy, YouTube. It's Muglerg and Lockable again. And Wolverine. And it's been a long time. It's been three months since I did a Lint Extra Lint chocolate review. It's been a, a very long time. Last time I did it was a chili uh, chocolate. This one is sea salt chocolate. On the back says as such. Excellent. A touch of sea salt. Has a rich brown color and a rich aroma. The taste reveals a harmony of unexpected contrast of the sea salt, the intensity of dark chocolate, and the delicate seasoning of the hand harvested Freya de Seul Sun Salt Crystals. Is that supposed to be French? Yep. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh, it is French. It's French chocolate. No, I was wondering what accent you were going for, because you didn't quite nail it. I don't see how I didn't, don't know. I don't see how I didn't. I'm watching a lot of shows like Kus like Kussel from uh, the main Panther. A French accent is more of this. He tries to upstage everyone on YouTube, but ignore him. Anyway, oh damn. Uh -huh. I do British better. Anyway. I can do English all day long, mate. Are you sound like this? Golden Shillelagh. Nah, it's Irish. Nah, not like Irish. Alright. This bitch is always hard to open. There we go. Uh, I will give you a square, my friend. I mean, it's the most like regular chocolate, star chocolate. You're not gonna get like a lot of salty saltiness. It's just a perfect mix. Oh, it smells good. Uh, we're gonna give a flavor of one to ten, and we're gonna tell you what we taste more: the dark chocolate or the sea salt. So, it's dark chocolate. It's not bad. I love lint. Now, I don't taste the salt at all. Now. Because it has salt. Yeah, dude. When you swallow it, the sides of my tongue. When I swallowed, the sides of my tongue got like sea salt. It wasn't a lot, but it was sea salt. That's some good chocolate, though. Um, you taste the dark chocolate more, but when I see everyone, everyone's palate is different. When I swallow, it's like because there's crystals in it, but not much. They're brown. The sea salt sticks to my side of my tongue. So when I swallow, it's saltiness. And I like that. I still don't taste the salt, man. Um, wait, 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 where was I told you, when you spot it's like there, it's weird. On a scale of one to ten, I give this an eight and a half. This, <coughs> this is very interesting. I like this. When you swallow it salty, that's what she said. Anyway, I, I really give it a nine. This is some good. Chocolate. Yes. I guess that little hint of salt yes. just adds to it. I I will give this a nine and a half, and I recommend this. Uh, like I said, it was it was like two something. Last time I did it, it was like a dollar. They went up in price a lot. Everything is going up now. But this is seriously amazing. I go try it, man. I saw an episode of Modern Family where they recommended hot chocolate with a pinch of salt. And at the time, I thought, no way, it wouldn't be good. But after this, it might. Just that little hint. This is amazing. All right. Uh, I don't know where you can find this. It's YouTube. already melting my fingers, though. <laughs> Mine, too. Uh, YouTube viewers, if. I don't know if it's in your stores, but where or I found it was Walmart, um, in the candy aisle, um, in the candy bars are. Probably in yours. If not, then you need to move somewhere because you ain't living. You must be nothing that much that quick. I told you to quit doing that in your butt. I'm joking, I'm kidding, okay, man. I do it too. Shut up, don't judge me. All right, YouTube. This is another food review video. So until then, Muggle from Lockable. Wolverine. Peace, YouTube. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, cool, look, a mushroom.